Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to thank everybody for coming back. I also wanted to thank all the new subscribers for coming to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. If you could do me a favor and give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, that'd be greatly appreciated. And it really helps my channel out, so thank you. Hello everybody. I just wanted, I wanted to show you what I'm doing today. I'm uh, going through and making sure the birds are nice and healthy and getting ready for training. Okay, this is one of the things I do to get them, you know, ready for training. Besides, uh, you know, the normal letting them out and stuff like that, I'm going through and worming my birds. As of, you can see here, I'm right in front of the young bird loft. I have uh, caught some of my young birds. They're in this thing here. Okay. And uh, I am planning on doing is warming my birds to start out with. And I'm also, since I've already got, a, got them in my hand, I am going to uh, not only warm them, but I'm gonna check to see who's who's here and who's not, okay? So I'm a, what I, some people ask me what I use for worming. Depending on how much of a hurry I am, um, I will use moxidectrin. I use a horse warmer, okay? I'll use this and then put this in the water and do it that way this one here is the ivamexin and the this it also helps uh kill other deals uh other worms in the there it, uh, like tapeworms and round worms and stuff like that that's what i use but uh i've always used before is the ivamectin the injectable one okay this is the ones I've always used for my pigeons or Ivamec Plus, but right now I can't get a hold of that. It's the only thing I can get a hold of. So, but anyways, like I said, I have a, a list of birds that I bred. Oh, here, as you can see here, it says 2001 breeding season. Here's the parents. Here's the birds I banded with for what parents they have. And I'll make sure if they're on here, I'll make a check mark by each one of them. If they're not here, Okay, I don't know what happened to them. You know, they got a square to eye or a hawk on them. I'm not sure. So, but if they're not on here, like I know a few birds are not, I will go through and uh, write them on here. For this example, like I got a few birds from uh, Kenneth Moore. I got a few birds from Rocky Ridge. I got a few birds from um, a couple of other guys, anyways. Uh, Johnny and who's the other guy I got from? But, anyways. I wanted it to, uh, Lucky is the other guy I got him from. But anyways, I gotta go through and check them. But anyways, I go through and I grab each bird, pull a bird out. For example, like this one here. Make sure we lock it up, make sure they're good and healthy. Check the band number, see which ones they are. You know, take a look at them, make sure they're nice and healthy. If they're not healthy, you know, make a check mark by it or you know, make a note, notation of which ones are not looking very healthy. Open their mouth, look at their mouth. Um, like I said, then I'll give them, since so they gotta open their mouth anyway to give them the ivermectin. Uh, I usually, so, you know, turn the bird kind of on the side. Okay, open their mouth. Make sure everything looks good in there. And then taking, uh, use the ivermectin. I put it in a, a dropper like this, it works so much easier. So when you're giving it to the birds, all you gotta do is turn it upside down. I'll usually do this and tilt, tilt their head back and do one, two, three, three to four drops. The first drop didn't hit, hit it in his mouth, it only hit the back. And, hit, and I put it in the back of their mouth or the back of their beak when their head is tilted the back. That way it don't accidentally go in their lungs and that actually goes into where it goes along. So. Like I said, now I'm gonna do is check to make sure it's the right one. We got uh, band number 364, it's here. Um, I'm gonna take the, any, if I have any extra bands on them, like this orange band is telling me it was a young bird. They're all flying good, they're roaming. They're uh, not roaming. What's the keyword I'm looking for here, guys? I'm trying to think. Anyways, they're, uh, they're venturing away anyways for at least 10 minutes, if not more. You know, um, I don't put, start, training here until usually like the first week of March or so I'll start training but like I said I want to make sure they're good and healthy first and I'll show you what I used on their feed to get them healthy also to make sure um, 
the more stuff I add to it and stuff like that and during racing season and stuff like that. So I just kind of want to show you guys what, what I'm doing. So anyways, I'll let that one go for now and uh, start doing the rest of them. So I also forgot to mention too, guys, that uh, when I'm doing this, I also take and spray them for uh, feather mites. Okay, I use this spray here. Uh, Mr. Danny had recommended it a while back and I've been using it ever since and it does work really good for that It also helps with mosquitoes and flies when they get really bad, you know I know we get more mosquitoes up here than we do flies and I'm not saying we don't get flies But the mosquitoes bother them more than the flies do at least here in my loft. They do anyways I take in a I Grab the bird like this Hold the bird out Just with one hand Do I you do is two sprays Okay, two on the wing, two in the butt, and two up there on each side, so, and then I let them go. All right, guys, I want to show you the feed and what I use to mix to keep my birds also healthy, especially during race season, you know. Um, I feed Des Moines feed, okay, and this is what I feed, the Des Moines Premier 22, Pigeon mix, okay. I use that, and then uh, I already got a mixture of make it up for how much birds I'm going to feed. Uh, this is enough for the 65 young birds, okay, to feed them. Um, I have the red bottle as actually red cell. I find it is much easier to for me to use them in this because I can actually just squirt how much I want on there instead of just using a spoonful, and I kind of I kind of guess from there. And the yellow bottle is coconut oil, or you can use wheat germ oil, whichever you can get a hold of. Uh, I like this is because it's got the omega threes and the omega sixes. So, and uh, just like I'd like, just prefer to using that myself. You know, everybody's got their own way of thing, doing things. Okay, once I add the oils onto it, I'll add milk replacer. This is the one I use. So, and it's all good for all all the animals. And then I also use brewer's yeast. So I can get that here at a local store. And I also use the probiotics, okay? Um, I'll use the brewer's yeast and the milk replacer um, probably, especially during off season, at least twice a week. And then I do probiotic once or twice a week, depending on how the birds are looking, okay? But uh, today, I'm going to put all three on there just to kind of help them out because it's been a couple days since I did that. But, you know, at least during the off-season, I don't always use milk replacer. I'll just use brewer's yeast one day and then probiotics, and you know, another day. So it all kind of depends on what I feel like doing and how the birds are looking. So, but anyways, I'll use the red cell first. I don't have, it's no particular order, guys. It's just whatever I can, you know, feel like mixing up. Okay. We just mix it up. I'm gonna zoom in here, you guys, so you can see a little bit better, hopefully. Okay. As you can see, all the grains are nice and wet now. Okay. That's what you want to see. They're nice and kind of that wet look. That's what you want to kind of see. That way, when you add the brewer's yeast and the probiotics and the, the powdered milk to it, it'll help stick to it. That's why we'll usually use do that, so. But anyways. I just kind of sprinkle it on a little bit. As you can see, there's kind of a little powder mix on it. I usually do two little scoops of that one. I'll do two scoops of the brewer's yeast too. Okay, this one's got the two cups on it, okay? I use the bigger side. And I'll cheat too and I'll use that same cup for my powdered milk. All right, if I can get into the powdered milk. <laughs> Actually, there is a cup in the powdered milk. I forgot about that one, okay? I don't use that much powder milk, just, you know, about that much. 
Okay, give it a sprinkle on there. And mix it in. I know my birds at first, when I first started giving this red cell, they would not eat it, okay? I mean, it's not said they wouldn't eat it. It'd take a couple of these to eat it. So my theory is, is, you know, if I put it on there and they don't eat it within 10 minutes and then just kind of go away, I pick it up and I'll give it to them again the next day. So as you can see here, guys, it's still got a little bit of wetness to it, but now what I let this do is let it dry overnight and uh or you know for a couple hours is he not overnight but over a couple hours and give it to the birds okay some people let it dry you know half hour 20 minutes whatever you guys want to do but sometimes if i'm in a hurry and i know i'm going to be busy the next day i'll mix it up ahead of time the day before and then put a lid on it and store it over for the night that way i don't have to worry about mixing it you know everybody has their own way of doing things guys like i said i just wanted to kind of show you how I keep my birds healthy and keep them going. So I hope you guys, this helps you. So please like, share, and leave a comment below. And have a great day, and thank you for watching.